Today we're going to be talking about some of the things you can do to make your old car look new again. guys Matt here with another video and if you are new to this channel I make car related content so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything just to clear things up I said old car meaning any car that was bought used or secondhand not necessarily old cars like from the 90s or 80s just any car that's not the most recent year and model you may want to do this for many reasons one could be that your car just looks outdated and you want it to look more presentable or look more modern regardless of what your reason is you don't need to spend a whole lot of money to do this and these tips will help you make your car look newer and modern clean your car now this one is very obvious but a lot of people overlook this you see just cleaning your car and keeping it clean makes it look a thousand times better and of course newer reason being is that by doing this your paint will be more visible now you can clean your car yourself but there is a procedure on how to clean your car properly for example using two buckets one for rinsing and one for the soap or using a microfiber cloth instead of any regular cloth this way you avoid adding any more scratches to your car's paint another option if you don't have the time is taking your car to a car wash make sure the car wash you take your car to doesn't damage or scratch the paint because I gotta tell you some car washes do for example drive through car washes oh god please no no I actually recommend getting your car detailed because not only will they clean your car they will deep clean the hell out of it I'm talking about getting in tight spaces in the interior wheels and engine bay also shampooing the seats and carpets you can even ask the detailer to do a paint correction to remove existing scratches on your car's paint also polish and wax to really bring out that paint and make it look brand new again I also recommend getting a ceramic coating too so your car wouldn't get dirty so easily water and dirt would just slide off basically just keeping your car clean can go a long way so if you are enjoying this video so far it would be great if you hit that like button this way YouTube can push this video out to more people LEDs or HIDs changing the stock headlight bulbs is another great way to make your car look newer you will increase visibility at night which also makes it safer to drive you can even get them aftermarket ones like the angel halo lights but me personally I would just change it to LEDs because it's the quickest way and the cheapest way to drastically change the look of your car and there are tons of options online in different price brackets with LEDs being the cheapest option basically whichever you prefer it's a matter of preference also another advantage of LEDs is they usually take less energy to work and they are brighter than your regular halogen bulbs okay I'm gonna put this here because the Sun is getting in my eye <laughs> okay let's move on to the wheels all the car stock wheels tend to show their age over time which makes your car look older so changing your wheels is a great way to drastically change your car's image you'll actually be surprised how different your car will look if you just change the stock wheels to a nice set of aftermarket wheels and it doesn't have to be some expensive RPF ones or TE 37s just something that would look at least better than your stock wheels also there are different types and styles of aftermarket wheels to choose from there's the alloy multi-piece deep dish and the list goes on each have their own advantages and disadvantages it's up to you to decide which one suits your car and also your wallet because some aftermarket wheels can get really expensive but you don't actually need to buy them brand new you see if you just go on Facebook marketplace eBay gumtree or whatever site you use to buy secondhand stuff from you can and will find a good set of aftermarket wheels you can actually find a bargain on the internet <laughs> and some will already have tires with them good brands to look out for are Enkeys, Rotus, BBS, Koenig and many more there are tons actually to choose from just make sure you're searching for the right wheels for your car because different cars have a different number of bolt patterns so always do your research first infotainment system most if not all modern cars these days have a built-in infotainment screen display so if your car only has a stock radio or an aftermarket one changing it to a touchscreen infotainment system will actually change the look and feel of your car's interior you can get an aftermarket infotainment entertainment system with a built-in radio, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, satellite navigation and many more. And you might find that some of the ones you can actually buy are actually the ones used by some manufacturers. I know some infotainment displays don't fit in some older cars because the slot where the radio fits is just too small. Like it's like that instead of like 
you know what I mean? But you can get the ones where the screen comes out and flips up. Now you can install this yourself if you know basic wiring, but you don't need to worry if you don't know how to do that, because some of the places where they sell these infotainment displays will actually install them for you for an extra cost or sometimes free. So you don't need to worry about the installation too much. Cosmetic mods. Okay, I'm not talking about adding a huge wing at the back of your car. I'm talking about something more subtle that can transform the look of your car and also make it look sportier at least. I'm talking about something like a front lip. A front lip is actually a great way to make your car look more sportier. It also adds the effect of making your car look lower since the front lip makes it look like your car is closer to the ground. Now, there are different types of front lips to choose from. Some are car specific like Honda Spoon Lip, Mugen Lip and Type R Lip. Also, some are universal, but I wouldn't recommend those bendy stick on ones because they can typically come off or you can make a custom one like what Martin Moog did on Mighty Car Mods. By the way you should check them out if you're into cars because they actually have really good car content. I'll put the link in the description below. Anyway adding a front lip is a great way to transform the look of your car on a budget without spending on a full body kit. So have I missed out any more ways to make your car look more new? Let me know in the comments section below. Also if you like this video hit that like button because that way this video gets shown to more people and I can help out more people with their car. You should also check out last time's video where I talked about what I think of the 2022 R35 Nissan GTR. And with that being said, thanks for watching, keep safe, and I'll see you on the next video.